Hello and welcome back to Kukikan Oven Break with Azurai Galcon. And finally, after a year of posting videos of about cookie trials, we have reached the 100th episode of Cookie Trials. And what better way to celebrate it with Dark Enchanter's Cookie, the main big bad of the entire Cookie Run franchise. One of the first legendary cookies to be released in this game alongside Moonlight Cookie, Sea Fairy Cookie, and Fire Spirit Cookie. And now in this video, I'm going to show you how to beat her trial in Diamond Rank without legendary treasure and with legendary items. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell so you won't miss out any videos that I put right here on this channel. Everything is free, you don't have to pay anything, and you help me grow this channel flourish even more. And now, let's just talk about her for just a bit, a minute or two. So Dark Enchanted Cookie, as I said earlier, one of the first legendary cookies to be released in the game. And we didn't get much of her backstory until like Cookie Run Kingdom was released and especially the Tower of Sweet Chaos update, which is, uh, if you haven't played Cookie Run Kingdom, uh, you should play that thing and yeah, check out the story if you are interested in that. Uh, too bad that I do not play Cookie Run Kingdom, so you just check it out, find it out on YouTube. I'm sure you can do it. And the story itself is actually pretty interesting to just mention the list. So anyway, uh, we've entered bonus time. And for a legendary cookie, uh, her bonus time is pretty easy. You just have to make sure that you pick up the uh, blast as well as the magnet jellies, which isn't too hard. So yeah, um, as you might notice because of that gigantic monster just above her, that's the effect of the magic candy that if you manage to create it. I watched a uh, Royal Max video, I guess, about the um, update that buffed her. Um, that also wasn't well received by the community because like the update for uh, releasing legendary cookies is like way too short, if I'm not mistaken. Um, like thing like uh, before she got the buff, uh, Win Archer got the buff first, and it was like two months bef uh, before she eventually got the uh, updated and buffed. Which uh, for legendary cookies uh, to be buffed in like a very short amount of time, just like we have right now in uh, Longan Dragon Cookie and Lychee Dragon Cookie. Um, I, I really do think that um, their sister um, needs to like reduce the amount of legendary things that we release into the game. I mean, um, we got legendary treasures for the first time at the end of season six, and then just like two months, just barely like a month later, we got uh, Long and Dragon Cookie, which was like two months before that we got Lychee Dragon Cookie. And now um, everyone is struggling to get uh, to rise up the secondary legendary treasure that was released in this update. So, yeah. Um, so the condition of this game is uh, not particularly good, especially if you are like starting your journey. And to make things even worse, um, they changed the magic laboratory system, which um, it's not particularly good changes. Um, one of those things that. Uh, they didn't consider it true. I mean, the changes itself isn't that uh, bad until they until you realize that um, they ruined two things, which is uh, they ruined the affection system. And in case that if you are a viewer who never played this game, uh, I'm gonna explain it a bit. Uh, basically, affection system affects uh, the points that we get during a run. And the way we get it uh, increased to the maximum level of uh, 1,000 affection points is is to use the cookie to run. That's why it's called the game Cookie Run. And oh, I just realized that uh, we reached a brand new high score uh, in without in this trial. And now let's move on with the legendary treasures. Take it away. Now. We are back in the attempt of beating this with legendary treasures. 
So where was I that um, I'm talking about? Oh yes, um, the affection points. Um, so the way we get it is but you use the cookie itself to run. That's why it, the game is called Cookie Run. And also there are um, items that you can get in Cookie Trials. And these items are very specific to what cookie that uh, you run in. There are specific items that you can give it to the cookie and it will increase it by a massive points. And that's the way we can get it to 1000 affection points. But sadly, because uh, their sister decided to simplify the uh, laboratory, and uh, now the only way that we can get the item is getting it through cookie trials, and they also change it so that like they make us wait for one entire week to make an item. Yes, uh, you're not kid. I'm not kidding. Uh, do not adjust your hearing. You're not hearing it wrong. We took like one entire week just to craft an item and this item is is incredibly crucial to our progress of the game so that's why the currently the community server um, on discord is currently on fire and there is no stopping it whatsoever i mean it's been already on fire by the time you watch this video for like um, nearly three weeks actually and like no one said anything good which is the same because this update does have something good with it and one of those is the Tower of Frozen Waves which sadly um, yes I have uh, created a bit of playthrough in the uh, normal rank and I beat the story mode um, and now I'm currently progressing to get the hard trial unlocked no sorry the challenges mode unlocked and because I haven't completed yet on the hard difficulty. So anyway, uh, that's it for me, I guess. And those videos about Tower of Rotten Waves and will come at later that date. Oh yeah, as well as Great Run. Uh, speaking of which, uh, we are back finally to the first um, boss that was introduced into the into the game. And yeah, this update. There's so much things that is that is wrong compared to the things that are right and yeah. I'm Altroy Galcon, signing it off. Take care and I will see you at the end of this trial. Oh, well you look at that, look at the difference between uh, the previous score compared to the current score we have, 4 millions in difference. And that's why legendary treasure in this game is absolutely broken. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.